This week, we highlight another life well lived. The enduring image of the national World War II effort here at home is an American icon named Rosie the Riveter. All the day long, where the rain or shine, she's a part of the assembly line. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie, the Riveter. The Rosie in that 1942 song represented the millions of American women who poured into factories while the boys fought overseas. The inspiration for that tune was a real-life young woman named Roz. Roslyn Walter graduated from high school and at 19 years old passed on college to take a night shift as an assembly line worker at the Vaught Aircraft Factory in Stratford, Connecticut. Walter came from a life of privilege, but she signed up to drive rivets and weld steel into Corsair fighter planes as they rolled off the line and into the skies over Europe and the Pacific. Women like Roz helped the United States win the war and in the process revolutionized the idea of women in the workplace and began a new conversation about equal pay. After the war, Walter dedicated her life to philanthropy, especially as one of the largest benefactors to PBS. Rosalind Walter, who joined the effort to win a war and then helped to change America, died on Wednesday in New York City. She was 95 years old.